Hello everyone, I am Enrico. Hello, I am Nicola. Um, we are two Ducati users. We have the same bike, same model. Uh, so this is mine, the, the Street Fighter V4S, which pairs with Enrico's, who has uh, just slightly filled it with carbon, but the essence is the same. What has always united us, not only having the same bike, but also sharing the same inconveniences, inconveniences that one clearly considers when buying such a sporty object, but that inevitably affect the riding experience. We, uh, besides doing mountain passes, occasionally going to the track, also use it in the city. Uh, to think about the traffic, it really heats up a lot. Can you explain exactly how it works and how you achieve this goal? Uh, of course, so, now, so look, now, put the, the pump is on this side. Uh, what do we do? What does our project consist of? Now we measure, taking it from the motorcycle itself, the temperature that comes out of the engine control unit. We take the temperature of the motorcycle's water. We are can see okay, we uh, have a temperature sensor inside the pump, you know, then already integrated that we calculate the, the thermal delta between the hot branch and the cold branch. So we know the calories produced by the engine and those dissipated by the radiator. And we set the balance to zero. This is the patent, simply put. It seems simple in words. No, but it's simple, simple. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. Well, it's not difficult at all. But no one else could do it. has figured it out anyways. Uh, so Sindicati said these are things that aren't difficult, but no one thinks of them because objectively you are the only one with this type of solution. We have a temperature sensor inside the pump. Already integrated, Doko. So we calculate the thermal delta between the hot branch and the cold branch. So we know the calories produced by the engine and those dissipated by the radiator, and we set the balance to zero. I can't believe it. The coolness is overwhelming. It's the first time in my long... I mean, Nabo, uh, Softis engine has always stayed between 90 and 93 or 92 degrees. I stop, turn off the bike, shh, something only a madman would do. Ne, ne? And the temperature just keeps dropping, 88. And as it tries to rise, it gives it a little nudge and cools it down, keeping it there. Mm -hmm. 